Let's talk about classifying polynomials. There are two ways that we classify or name polynomials. One way is by the number of terms you have and another is by their degree. So first let's look at how many terms we have. First you want to combine any like terms in a polynomial that you're given and write it in standard form. Typically that would be just in descending order from your highest exponent down to the lowest exponent or your constant term. So if you have one term in your polynomial that is just called a monomial. For example, we could just put x. If you have two terms, it's called a binomial. And for example, we could put 2x plus 3. So on, we have three terms. It's called a trinomial. So you remember like a bicycle has two wheels and a tricycle has three. Helps us remember. And for example, we'd have negative 3x squared minus 4x plus 7. Notice you can't combine any of that, so they still are all by themselves, but in the same polynomial, there are three separate terms, separated by plus and minus. If you have four or more terms, we don't have any more names to go by. We just call that a polynomial of four terms or a polynomial of five terms and so on at that point. And for my example, I put 5x to the fifth power minus 3x cubed plus x minus 9. We could have various examples over here, of course. These are just some to look at. So as you notice, it starts with one term. Two terms is separated by a plus sign. So if you're thinking of like what makes something a term, it's something that can't be combined with another term, and it's separated by plus or minus. Let's look at degree. <clears throat> if we want to classify polynomials or name them by degree, you first want to get them into standard form. So again, combine any like terms you have, and usually we organize them in descending exponent order, so from highest exponent down to the lowest. So for degree, we start with zero. If you have a term that has no variable, it would have a degree of zero, and we call that a constant. So for example, I put just the number five. It could be any number, but it won't have a variable. If you have a degree of one, then it's called a linear function. You've worked with those. And so we have 2x minus 3, for example, because that has an understood 1 that would be right there. So if there was a variable with our 5, it would have had to have a 0. But we don't write those in math because they're understood to be there. So again, linear, usually you can think of that as mx plus b form. But linear would also be there if it was just the 2x. So linear does not go with the fact that this is a binomial. It's linear because it has a highest degree of 1. There's no other variable with a higher degree. For a degree of 2, we call it quadratic. So see the highest exponent in this trinomial was 2. So that's where I get quadratic from. It doesn't have to look like this to be quadratic. It just has to have a highest exponent of 2. For the degree to be 3, we call it cubic. So again, you're looking at the highest degrees. The highest exponent in a term, once it's in standard form, was 3. So this one is cubic. If you have a degree of 4, we call it quartic. So again, highest degree here was a 4. And last but not least, 5, we call that quintic. So again, the highest degree between my terms was a 